Alex, how's the uh, week been since Tuesday? Well, we, uh, we were off yesterday, so uh, we had uh, a session this morning. Um, the players have come in, obviously, buoyed by the, the win and um, the performance. Um, and I think everyone's really looking forward to, to going again on Saturday. Confidence must be building against, and of course, Saturday sees Exeter come in as a side. Traditionally, we don't do very well against. Uh, <clears throat> they're they're a good side, you know. That they're they're always up there in in the league, and um, we know that that it's going to be a, a tough game. But I think the the biggest thing for us is to really focus on on what we've done over the past few weeks. Not only in terms of uh, the performance, but in just in terms of the spirit that's given us. Like you said, the belief and the confidence. Um, you know, when you win games and you and you start believing in in what they're doing more, obviously the results improve and um, we've always known that, that what the group have um, and we, we did take a dip but um, now we're over that and now we've got to make sure that, that we stay on this run um, uh, to make sure that, that we, we start climbing the table and get to where we all want to be. Extra sort of side, they've probably got a few changes from last season but they're always there or thereabouts aren't they? Yeah, they've had a manager there for a long time now, and um, you know he's he's a he's a he's a good guy. He's, he's he knows kind of what they're about, and I think he's been there what, since since Tiz was there, and um, understands the football club. So he understands that they obviously have a lot of youngsters coming in and out of the squads, and they kind of play and then they go. So he and he just rebuilds, and he's done really good at that. So um, they are always up there. They're they're a big club in this league. They're well supported. Um, but you know, that's what we that's what we want. We want to make sure that we're the ones who are being spoken about, of always being there, but and, and making sure that we're at the, the top end of the table. And that's what I feel like we're, we're trying to build. Um, it does take a bit of time, of course, but um, you know I think that it almost feels like we've kind of rebuilt since that performance uh, the last against Forest Green at home. It felt like we've right, we've rebuilt, and 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 now we're going again and. Um, you know, we, uh, we're we ready for Saturday because ultimately the players have, have put in some really good performances over the past few weeks and the training's been exceptional, so uh, we'll be ready. Does it help having the likes of Jake Taylor there, who obviously know Exeter so well? Well, I mean, he'll, I'm sure he's looking forward to the game. Uh, you know, he's, he had several years, good years there for himself and, and his family, so I know that it's, you know, whenever the fixture list comes out as a as an ex-player, I think that you look for you know your ex-clubs, um, and and I'm sure he'll get a really good ovation because he's a fantastic person, player, character, however you want to put it. But um, he's a really determined character as well, so he'll want to make sure that as a team and and as a club we stay on this path that we're doing. So yeah, he's, you know um, he's looking forward to the game as is everyone, but um, he'll be really focused on making sure we go and get the right result. Looking at the table, and we're nearly a quarter of the way through the season. How how do you look at it at the moment? It's, it's so many fine details, aren't there, on both the playing side and when you look at the table from top to bottom. There's not a match in any of it. No, the, I mean it's it's crazy. You know, you win on Saturday and results go your way, and you're looking at t above top ten, and, and and all of a sudden, um, you know, it, you're looking at it going, okay, right, we're in a, we're in a good position again. Um, I think that for us. It's all about our performances and, and, and what we're trying to build. I think that we've had we've had two games where we know that we're on the spin that, that weren't good enough from our levels. Um, and then I think that you are going to get the occasional games when unfortunately you do lose. It's a, a slip or a mistake or they ultimately the other team are better than you. Um, that happens in football. But what we've got to make sure is that when we do lose a game, you bounce back, which is you know, we, we've managed to do that. Um, when you go on a run, let's try and go and get win after win or, and then go and get consecutive wins and, and keep building. And I think the biggest thing that what I think we're all learning is that we really believe in a way of playing and a, and a structure. And, and when you believe in that structure and, and, and everybody's fluid and in sync, we look a really good side. If two cogs are out, all of a sudden things change and and it, and all of a sudden players are looking and go, oh, that, that's not where I should be. So um, I think that, that that's really important for us. So when we do that as a team, and we've worked a lot on it now in the last few weeks again to really rebuild, um, 
I think we're starting to see those signs and progress again. Um, so losses do cause obviously lack of confidence. Of course they do because you want to win games. Um, uh, but what's, what's most important is that you keep believing what you're doing. Keep believing in in the players around you um, and keep believing that, that w the way that we want to do it, it will we'll get success and um, I think that's what everyone's done over the past few weeks. You say the way you want to do it, have you had to tweak things to get out of that poor little spell we had? Yeah, well I think that the in, in terms of our structure, I think that we went away from our structure slightly in terms of a bit too much freedom maybe um, and I think that players like structure um, I think you know, and I also think that when you see the top teams in the world, they are that you know Guardiola talks about structure, and, and every player knows their job, and then within that they go and showcase their talents. And it doesn't matter what level you're at, you need structure within your within the way you play. And I think we lost that. I think we lost that a little bit, um, and we had to seriously have a look at ourselves and, and look at you know, how we were coaching them and how we were developing them and telling them the information and making sure that they were going on the pitch and completely understanding. Mm. You know, it's still, uh, you know, last year we had, we built real momentum going into the end of the season and then we've obviously brought in new players and they're still learning. Um, but one thing is that, you know, they work extremely hard to make sure they're trying to do the right things. Um, and, um, you know, hopefully now that we've had that little blip, they've realised, especially Tuesday night, I felt Tuesday night was a they really showed that, that when it when it works, it, it's fantastic to watch, um, and we just need to keep doing it more often. Um, and that's one thing, like I say, we keep working on, and and hopefully we keep getting better and better and better in, in games, and, and the results keep improving. How's the injury list looking? Long. Uh, no, uh, same. We've 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 still we're still about five, um, and that's unfortunate for us, but. Um, I go back to last year, you know, when we played those nine weeks of Saturday, Tuesday, we, we used 14 players. Mm. Um, so, you know, we've got a great group that are involved and the injured players are working extremely hard to get back fit. Uh, but you can't, you know, you can't speed up the body, unfortunately. Um, but uh, the players that are, are ready and prepared for Saturday, uh, you know, the, the lads that came in on Tuesday, put in a fantastic performance, showed that they're ready. and. Would have given them huge amounts of confidence, and the players that obviously dropped out, obviously have performed really well for the last few weeks. So um, we're in a good place in terms of those players that are fit, and um, they'll all be raring to to go and put in a top performance on Saturday. And the academy are doing their bit as well. You have got a couple of youngsters coming in on the bench. Yes, um, fantastic to give Mackay uh, some more game time in the first team. Um, obviously, we wanted to we wanted to get Sam Tanuba on. You know that that's that's the club we want. Um, we all know how hard the the staff work at the academy every day. You know they do. I said it last week that they, they, they devote their life to these people every day, and to give them an opportunity to to play in the first team or become a professional footballer. And when you get that opportunity to put them on the bench and bring them along for an experience to make sure they understand what it's about, um, it's, it's a great feeling as a manager because ultimately you you want to reward hard work and, and um, when they deserve it um, and when the academy staff think that they're ready you know they come up here and train and, and, and hopefully we can push them into the first team and, and get them playing because there's no better job um, than, than what we do so uh, yeah it's been fantastic to see their their growth and, and long may that continue. Well, obviously we see Jack Smith who's kind of there or thereabouts the other ones so we like to see more and more of those? We hope so. Um, you know, it's difficult because the game on Tuesday, uh, you never know what the other team are going to do in terms of whether they're going to go full strength or not. And, and we've won the game um, with a strong side. But obviously, you want to give opportunities to the young ones because that is a good cup to, to, to do it in. But um, one thing we've said is we never wanted a big squad. Uh, we've always said that we have to really believe in the younger players coming through. As long as they're good enough and they're ready and they work you know, extremely hard to, to get to this point, then, then we're not afraid to put them in. Um, and I think that Mackay's performance when he came on showed that. I think Jack Smith last year went from strength to strength, and then this year, unfortunately, obviously he got COVID and knocked him sideways. But um, he's getting there now, and we want more to come through because ultimately, you know, that's what we are as a club. It's what it's built on, and um, like I said, we want to reward the, the people down there for their hard work so that they get an opportunity to, to forge out a fantastic career.